We are here, we are queer, and we're going to be talking about Basil's something from Omori. So, I have made a TikTok discussing both Sunny and Basil's something, but I just really wanted him to discuss Basil's something. I'm gonna be using Ivis Paint to, like, highlight different areas of Basil something, like what I just did, like, circling that stuff. And I just really wanted to discuss basil something because i've made tiktoks but i i never what the fuck was that screech <laughs> i sound like i'm dying <laughs> things are very scuffed here at the makeshift spirit studio S studio what 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 <laughs> anyway so Basil's something is very important to him, and we literally like see it a lot um, through different images in the game. Like literally, this thing is very visible during the Basil fight and during some of the endings. I I'm not going to be going into that. Um, I'm going to be zooming in on various areas that I'm going to highlight. Um, going to talk about, basically. So, first, I want to talk about these side things. These guys. So, my theory is these are, like, roots. Like, Roots of a tree, like the tree that, oops, that Mari was hung from. Sorry, that's some, that's some dark imagery. <laughs> And I'm thinking because these things that are spewing out of the main thing here, they are supposed to represent the way the tree roots kind of spew out sometimes from the base of a tree. They're not just like, not there. Over time, the tree roots just kind of spew out of the tree. And that's why they kind of spew out of the something's main body here. Because they're supposed to represent tree roots, not roots of like hair, like a hairline. Like, because they would have more significance than just hair, you know? They would represent his trauma, Sonny's trauma, which was them framing Mari's death as a suicide. Now let's talk about the main body of the something. We've got these eyes here. I think they signify this level of control. It's not entirely full control, but the control is still present. The con this control is, like, making sure Basil stays in line, stays insane in a way, and this kind of 
it goes hand in hand with these bits that are just coming out here. These eyes are the repre represent the control, the control that uh, this something has over him. These can also re also represent like puppet strings, like how older puppets had the strings on their hands and legs and stuff on their joints. So, Basil is like the puppet, and this thing is like the puppet master, the puppeteer, that is controlling him. Next, we have these teeth here. In my opinion, they represent the guilt that is slowly eating away at Basil. Gnawing away at his mind causing him to go insane, which causes him to snap during the neutral ending. I'm not going to fully discuss that because that's spoiler content. I'm trying to not spoil the game completely. These teeth are gnawing away at Basil's mind to the point where he breaks, he snaps, he loses his mind, he goes crazy. And this is why a certain fight occurs involving Basil. I'm not going to spoil it again. This is why said fight occurs. Now I want to discuss the extra cutscenes at the end of the true ending if you water the flowers enough. You will notice that the something does not fade away, like Sunny's does, because that one slowly fades away. However, Basil's something kind of just crumples up inside of him. Like, it folds. Because the guilt is still there. He's working on managing it to an extent. He's trying his absolute hardest to get better. His absolute hardest, his best to become better. To improve himself as a person. It also goes to show that he hasn't fully commit, like, he hasn't fully forgiven himself for this idea. I will be inserting GIFs, the animations of when something kind of fades away for Sunny, but then doesn't fully go away for Basil. So, I like to say that's basically it. If you have any questions, or if you have your own theories, let me know in the comments. I am very interested, very curious to see what people have to say about Basil's something. I can do a video on Sunny's something, but I do not really have that many theories about Sunny's something, because there's a lot of stuff known about it. Of where it's supposed to represent Mari's hair in a way. And I don't really know much about it. So. If you have any theories. Let me know. If you want more Amori videos. I would love to do that. I don't really have any ideas. I've had some ideas. But I kind of just lost. Those ideas. <laughs> Back in the deepest, darkest corners of my mind. Omori is one of those games that 
really the fans are geniuses the fans are so creative when it comes to theories i mean there's a lot of talented artists there that are also very creative very d- d- genius pure genius In a future video, I would like to discuss Sonny's headspace. This whole world that Sonny created to escape the truth. Thanks for watching. See you next time.